Today, we are going to demonstrate the ideal method of brushing that is the modified bass brushing technique and the parts of a toothbrush. A toothbrush consists of a handle that comes the head, connecting both of which is a shank. Then comes the tufts and the rows of tufts constitute the brushing plane. The amount of toothpaste to be taken for brushing is of pea-sized. Now we'll move on to the modified bass brushing technique, which has been recommended ideal by ADA for all those who have good manual dexterity, that is skills, and less gingival decision. This technique is indicated for intracellular cleaning and as an ideal remedy for maintaining good oral hygiene. In modified bars brushing technique, the bristles are placed at an angle 45 degree to the tooth surface such that half of the bristles covers the gingiva and half of them covers the tooth surface. After positioning the bristles at a correct angulation, the small circular motions are being given followed by a swipping motion. Three teeth are being cleaned at a point of time and then we move to the next section. But make sure that the last tooth gets overlap so that all the areas of the teeth are being cleaned properly. In conventional bass technique, the bristles are placed at an angle 45 degree and small circular motions are being given. But in modified bass, the circular motions are being followed by the swipping motion so that even the interproximal areas are being cleaned properly. Following the same technique, even the remaining teeth of maxilla are being cleaned. For cleaning the palatal surface of upper molars, again the bristles are placed at an angle 45 degree to the tooth surface. Then a small circular motions are being given followed by a swipping motion. And for cleaning the palatal surface of upper anteriors, the brush is held in a vertical direction and the teeth are cleaned with the help of a circular motion and then a swipping motion. Accordingly, the mandibular molars are being cleaned. After positioning the bristles at a correct angulation, circular motions are being given followed by a swipping motion. In this technique, the most important thing is the correct angulation of the bristles. The bristles should be held at an angle 45 degree so that it enters into the gingival sulcus. For cleaning the lingual surface of mandibular molars, the similar technique is being applied. And for cleaning the lingual surface of mandibular anterior, again the brush is held vertically and small circular motions are being given followed by a swipping motion. In order to clean the occlusal surface of all the teeth, the bristles are held perpendicular to the tooth surface and the occlusal surface are being cleaned with the help of a horizontal scrub. In a similar fashion, even the occlusal surface of maxillary molars are being cleaned. Hope this video helps you to keep your oral hygiene.